Experimental Archaeology, Recreating Ancient Ice Storage Techniques. Hey, fellow explorers and history enthusiasts. Ever wondered how our ancestors beat the desert heat by creating ice thousands of years ago? Well, today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey into the heart of experimental archaeology to unravel the mysteries of ancient ice storage. Techniques, I've got a burning question for you. How did ancient civilizations in the desert manage to keep cool in the blistering heat without the luxuries of modern refrigeration? Join me as we dive deep into the past and recreate the ingenious methods our forebearers used to store ice in the midst of the arid wilderness. Welcome, everyone, to Wisdom Wave, the place where we venture into the realms of history, science. And discovery, today's exploration is truly a chill-inducing one, pun intended, and I'm thrilled to guide you through the captivating world of experimental archaeology, but wait, what's that, you ask? Well, buckle up, because we're about to unlock the secrets of the past by recreating ancient technologies, experimental archaeology is like a time-traveling science experiment, Allow roll up our sleeves and step into the shoes of our ancestors, it's a hands-on approach to understanding the ingenious solutions our predecessors devised to tackle life's challenges, and today, we're focusing on a particularly cool aspect, pun intended, again, ancient ice storage in the desert. So, why does this matter? Why delve into the past to understand how people stored ice? Well, my friends, it's not just about frosty nostalgia, it's a Now, let's talk about tools and materials, our goal is not just to replicate the ancient ice storage technique, but to do so authentically, using materials and tools that our ancestors might have had at their disposal, it's like a time-traveling shopping spree, scouring for authenticity to ensure our experiment echoes the past, so, expect a blend of historical accuracy and a dash of modern creativity as we dive into the construction of our experimental ice storage facility, as we lay the foundation of our time-traveling experiment, I invite you to join me step by step through the construction process, from the initial blueprint to the nitty-gritty details, every aspect of this facility is designed to bring us closer to the practices of ancient civilizations, imagine the challenges they faced under the relentless desert sun, and now imagine facing those challenges ourselves as we reconstruct this piece of history. But of course, the journey is never without its bumps in the road, challenges are our companions. And adaptation is the name of the game, from unexpected hiccups to ingenious workarounds, we've encountered it all, it's not just about building, it's about problem solving, just like our ancestors did when they faced the uncertainties of their time. And speaking of challenges, let me pull back the curtain on some of the hurdles we've faced during this experimental venture, you see, recreating the past is no easy feat, every obstacle became an opportunity to learn, adapt, and appreciate the resourcefulness of those who walked these desert paths before us, we made modifications, adjusted our course, all while staying true to the essence of the ancient technique we're resurrecting, now, let's talk about the environment, a crucial factor in the success of our experiment, the desert isn't just a backdrop, it's a living, breathing element in our recreation, will explore the impact of environmental conditions on the effectiveness of our ancient ice storage, how does the experiment mirror or differ from historical accounts? It's a fascinating exploration into the intersection of nature and technology, where the past meets the present, as we monitored the ice formation within our experimental storage, surprises awaited us, the process is a delicate dance, and the outcomes are as unpredictable as the history we're trying to uncover, I'll walk you through the observations, measurements, and any unexpected outcomes that unfolded during this chilly experiment, now, let's connect the dots between the past and the present.
important, how do our results compare with historical records and archaeological findings related to ancient ice storage techniques? 